this video, I want to show you how I manage my Cloudways servers using Tmux, the session manager for the Bash, and basically how I use SSH access to my Cloudways servers in order to debug issues, to troubleshoot, and to just get a good understanding of what's going on on these servers. So let me give you a bit of background. I have two servers in this Cloudways account right now, a dev server and a live server. And what I've done is to separate the logins more clearly in the Tmux sessions, you, you'll see why in a minute, I have uh, adapted the usernames to master underscore dev and master underscore live respectively, because I can then differentiate based on the username that is showing me here in the bash what server I am working on. And Tmux, I have created a video about already. Tmux is a ses session manager. That's a difficult word for a German. Session manager f in Bash that basically keeps SSH sessions and all other sorts of sessions running, even though you detach from them. So I have just started this fresh Bash instance. And when I now type Tmux ls, I see that I have three Cloudways or th that I have one Cloudways session with three windows running. And I will link tutorials on how to install Tmux and how to extend Tmux with plugins below this video. That's not the scope of the video. But basically what I now can do, instead of opening SSH sessions per server, so what I usually would have to do is I would have to master live at, and then enter the IP, I would have to open an SSH session for each server and then I would have to have another bash window even and then have another window where I would SSH into the dev server which is totally not efficient whatsoever. So instead of having these two windows side by side and then even losing the session when I when I close the terminal now that that SSH session obviously is lost. Instead of having that issue, I use Tmux. So what I can do now is I can say Tmux attach session and then tag it to Cloudways. And now you can see that the contents in this bash have changed. And you can see the name of the session right here that says Cloudways. And then window 1 is SSH, and window 2 is SSH, and window 3 says Tmux. So what that basically allows me to do is I have three windows. You can see the highlighted one in blue right here. So this is an SSH session on the master server, on the live server. So if I say, who am I? I am master live as shown here. So that is, and I go to PVD, uh, PWD. That is the master server right now. I could have uh, LS applications. Oh, gives me all the application folders I have on that live server. And when I change into the second window, you can see here is an HTOP running already. I have just to clear this. Okay, so that SSH session has not been active anymore. Maybe I've killed it beforehand. So let me just SSH into this server again so that that SSH session is managed through Tmux again. So now I am on the master dev account on the development server. And when I now detach from, from Tmux, as you can see, I'm now detached from Tmux and I am back on my local machine. Yeah, I'm at Ryzen. Ryzen is the name of my local PC. You can now see that I'm back on the uh, PC. No SSH sessions whatsoever. Now I can, let me just open a new bash. Not the Git bash. Sorry about that. Let me open a new bash and close the old one. So this is the old one. This is the new one I've just opened. And now let's do a Tmux LS and you can see the Cloudways 
session in Tmux is still there. So let us attach to that session again. And now we can see the SSH to the dev server is still active and the SSH on the master server, on the live server is still active as well. So now when things go wrong on your server with Cloudways, usually you would get a notification from the Cloudways bot and then you would log into the platform, probably go to the monitoring tab and see what's going on over there. <coughs> Excuse me. So while this is loading, you would see the summary of RAM usage. CPU usage is 100% on the dev server right now. So that is a brilliant example. I did not make this up. So this is pure luck. So what I would do in this case is I log into the dev server, open HTOP and see what is going on right here. And this basically gives me the, I the overview of which applications are taking up uh, more CPU than others. And in this case, it is we uh, WJDUT that comes up out at the top over and over again. As you can tell by this blue highlight, I'm sorted by CPU percentage by default. So this is um, definitely the application that causes the problems. And there is no way that I could have seen that so quickly from the monitoring tab here in the Cloudways applications. The only thing that would make it seem reasonable to expect this is because on the default monitor or on the detailed monitoring tab, I can see an application called DeinTagewerk.de causing some um, heavy ser <coughs> server load, sorry. So these are the top IP addresses and let's just double check if that is the same application. So I'm just entering the application name, the, the internal application name right here, clicking onto this and it goes to the same website. So this is certainly the problem and what I can now do is I can see uh, into more detail what is going on on this application. And I know that a customer of mine actually is using this application right now because we're preparing the launch for this application. So she's probably doing something right now that takes up all the resources of the dev server. But now I have troubleshot, I, I did troubleshoot the server issue very, very quickly. And obviously this is not limited to HTOP, you can do all sorts of things in the uh, SSH sessions right now. So we could go to the applications folder, for example, go into public HTML, and then we have the WordPress CLI issue, uh, the WordPress CLI functionality right here. So uh, there is no there is no WordPress um, manual manual pages here, but this basically allows you to invoke WP CLI from the command line right here. As you can tell, manage WordPress through the command line with the command. And then you can basically just wor work your way through this. So what I will do now is not in this video, but I will now have the ability to use WPCLI to troubleshoot this installation and to see what's going on. And this is how I like to manage all the Cloudways servers that I have. So I do open a Tmux session and I link the video on Tmux um, on the end card of this video so that you can follow along with this. If you want more tips like this, uh, subscribe to my channel. Highly recommend uh, if you're a WordPress developer, I'm putting out more content about WordPress development and DevOps and things around these topics soon. So if you don't want to miss any more videos, I highly suggest you sign up to this channel to uh, subscribe to the channel. And also I would love from you, to, uh, I would love to hear from you and I would love for you to connect with me in the Facebook group that I run. The Facebook group is called WP Mastery. It's also linked in the video description. And obviously, if we are in touch and you have specific questions, that allows me to create videos about those questions too. 
for example, if you want me to go more in depth on Tmux or on how I manage these servers using WPCLI, happy to do that. Just let me know what types of questions you want me to answer and I'll, happy I'll be happy to create videos about this. And yeah, if you enjoy these casual style videos, just let me know. Always looking for feedback, always looking to improve. And that's about it for this video. I've detached from the Cloudway sessions now. The SSH sessions, as I've said, are still intact, so I can just go back into Tmux and continue where I've left off. And with this, I'll leave you. Have a great day. And again, looking forward to hearing from you. Cheers.